Activision have just updated the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 launcher to just call it Call of Duty, with the new launcher being Call of Duty Headquarters, to serve as the new big hub for all modern Call of Duty games and modes, unifying the experience. There's a lot of good here, but also a lot of bad, and some key lessons that Activision needs to learn from the Master Chief Collection too. All in today's video on Lost Saves. While the classic MW2 is getting taken offline, hopefully only for a short while, to patch a crazy worm going around, giving me a Steam update notification for a game I'd never expect, the new Modern Warfare 2 also got an update, renaming the whole game. I always hate when publishers do this, and this is the second time Call of Duty has decided to iterate in a way that reuses the same name. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, and Modern Warfare from the year 2019? Anyone? Shouts out to anyone who aims to buy this and buys the original Call of Duty instead. It's a good game. Call of Duty. This new launcher is an improvement on the in-your-face play Warzone or else menu system that I was literally just complaining about in a video that came before it. The launcher is divided into two sections, returning to the format established by Tekken back in the 90s. <laughs> starting with a Message of the Day section and some featured game modes or options, then Modern Warfare 2, followed by Warzone 2, followed by a Legacy Games section featuring Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, and Vanguard. This is a great start. It's clear which game section you're on and provides minimal friction for swapping between them, at least for the newest game and Warzone. We can assume MW2's top spot will be swapped for MW3 or whatever the new Call of Duty title that's supposed to be getting announced soon for this year is, at which point it's unclear how this will be handled. The problem comes in the Legacy Games section. The potential for modularity here is great, but if Activision will keep insisting on burying the previous game each cycle, the whole remake of the menu will become fairly pointless. This is where Activision really needs to take some inspiration from the work 343 Industries have done on the Halo Master Chief Collection over the years. For this menu to be the most valuable and to engage the most players, Call of Duty needs some sort of match composer that allows you to queue up your favorite game modes across different Call of Duty titles, and not just the newest one, with a bunch of friction towards launching the older ones. Work has already been done to unify the loadouts a bit across titles with the previous Warzone, so I think something interesting could happen here too. This has huge benefits for both the players and the publisher. For players, we have 15 years of people constantly preferring this or that from previous Call of Duty titles, hence the old phrase COD cycle, and the ability to keep playing what you love easily is a win. Making it easy keeps the population numbers up, which also makes it an actually good experience to go back and play what you want to. Look what happened when the Xbox 360 servers for old COD games got fixed up and those games shot to the tops of sales charts. People will keep playing older games and aren't just pirating them to do it. The variety of gameplay experiences and freedom to drop back to something more comfortable when desired helps prevent player burnout keeps them playing for longer. This, of course, transitions to benefits for the publisher. More people playing and engaging longer is obviously a win for their metrics, but also keeping the experience fresh and unified across titles means you can keep players investing in cosmetics and other microtransactions for longer on these older games, continuing to rake in cash and increasing ROI. I know this sounds like something I shouldn't be cheering for, but if it's incentive to give us better experiences, short term wins, something, something. Halo Master Chief Collection has already provided a template for this working. Playlist selectors with game choices between them, seasonal unlock trees that can be spent on items from any game, it's a massive win. This also sets up a potential roadmap for the desired uh, different skew separation that I have been asking for for the COD franchise for years, meaning we could get dedicated just a multiplayer tree here in this menu, and then a Warzone tree, and then a Zombies tree, and keep just getting new releases in those SKUs as pillars of content, rather than just individual games that try to bundle all this together and clearly can't finish it all before launch. The lack of clarity here comes in the form of how the legacy games will be integrated. Are they categorized as a legacy because they're older than the current release, or because they're using the older Warzone engine and thus can't be integrated? Will this integration work from Modern Warfare 2 onward due to the new system? Can older games be reworked to integrate? Lots of questions here. 
Obviously, a big concern I have here is one of ownership. Game hubs can provide lots of advantages and neat tricks, but unifying the game launching and matchmaking experience has huge potential to completely cut off players at any given notice. Or without given notice, I guess is the right way to put that. With Xbox 360 Halo servers gone, for example, if MCC has an outage or gets cut off from online play, we can't play Halo 3 online anymore, no matter how many copies we own or wear. Also, how will games be tracked across stores? I own MW2 on Steam, but Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 are on Battle.net, as they were never on Steam. Can ownership of these be tracked through my Activision account and thus still be queued through this launcher, or might I have to rebuy all the games on one launcher to even take advantage of it? Given Activision's proclivity towards changing when and where you can buy their games constantly, and that practice screwing over players, like those who tried to buy Modern Warfare Remastered on the Microsoft Store for PC, this is all a big question mark and a possible red flag. Regardless, it's kind of exciting times, and I hope the movement on the Xbox 360 combined with these updates means Activision might be getting pressured to get their crap together with this franchise for the greater good. They still have to fix up the security issues with classic Modern Warfare 2 on PC, and ideally find a way to leverage the community improvements that they shut down, like IW4X, to improve the experiences. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to be kind, rewind.